I got a ride or die Sorry lads, just uh, move you there. Smashing work. So super busy morning today, Monday morning, absolutely smashing it. This G7X is definitely on its way out. Basically every time I open this lens, it opens halfway, so you can just about see you can see like that, it's really, really annoying. Anyway guys, thank you so much for coming back to the channel. If you haven't already, subscribe and give this video a like, just for loving life more than anything. There's a lot going on in the world at the moment and we need to keep the positivity up. We need to remember that life is good. Anyway, been smashing orders all morning, so thank you so much for your support on FYD. It's been insane. The 106 GTI t-shirts, the stack t-shirts have gone absolutely nuts. Medium sold out at the moment. We've only got a few of the small, and large, I, th I think large might be sold out by now, or XL's sold out, and XXL's. But today, we're going to be going to the post office in a minute and take a little cheeky 106 to the post office. There's a few things I wanna do to the series one. General cleanup of the engine bay. I took it out the other day, and I just wanna clean up a few bits, like as you can see, the chrome here needs cleaning up. Just general engine bay cleaning up. Now, you guys may have seen a previous uh, video. There is, again, any Thing that you have for sale for one of these Series 1 RS turbos. I know that's a pretty random thing to ask, but if there is anything, please hit me up. I'm always looking to buy stuff from subscribers for cars that I own. So just like the 106 GTI, if you do have anything, hit me up Instagram or you know send me an email on fydapparel.com and I'll have a little cheeky look. Anyway, post office, 106 GTI, then we'll get back to the S1. I had an epiphany that it's a lovely day outside. Why am I not taking your orders to the post office in the RS Turbo? What a silly thing I didn't even think of doing this morning. I was just like, oh, let's take the 106 and go and enjoy it and blah, blah. So, the alarm's now going off. At least we know the alarm works, eh? So yeah, we'll take the uh, orders, your guys' orders today in the back of the RS Turbo. Look at that. Oh, so if anybody has ordered anything over the last couple of days, we're gonna take it in the RS Turbo because it is a beautiful day outside. We'll drop the bonnet, we'll get that open, and we'll take her to the post office for a little cruise because you just, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? That bonnet down. Lovely. <laughs> I'll get this open. Now this doesn't actually live in here, but at the moment, I thought I'd bring it in just in case it rains, you know. Right, let's do this. <sighs> it's just something about this car, man. I tell ya. Oh, it's something about it. Right, do the locking. Good old Clifford's. Key in. Oh God, I love this car so much. Oh my God. It's just, that's what could turn your day from like every other normal day, you know, getting back to emails, but enjoying life to like just sheer excitement instantly. Oh, I love this car so much. Anything little and special like this, just going, even going to the post office, it's just such a nice time. All right, everything's locked up. Appreciating the 106 at the same time though. Look at the wheels on it. Let's just have a little uh, shot for you guys. Oh, but <laughs> yes, today is all about this car. Leaving out to warm up a little bit, so I want to make sure we can give it a little bit of boost on the way, you know. Got some Britney Spears on, on the old uh, radio, but how many of you guys do this? You drive past shop windows and just avert your gaze 
to your car and yourself in disbelief that you're actually driving that. That's pretty much how I feel at the moment. Also, look at all these bollards going down the high street. That is insane. I can only imagine that the uh, bollards in the high street there were more COVID-19 based than the whole riot based thing that's happening at the moment. Now, of course, there's riots going on all over the world, which is, you know, something I'm not going to comment on because I don't think people in, you know, content creators and stuff are here for cars more than anything, but it is insane to see that in the high street. Right, local post office. Turn the car off. Open the door. Order's complete. Look at the state of the RS Turbo. Sat right there. Oh, dear. And a Zafira GSI in Arden Blue. I mean, you know, top picks of the day. I mean, if you're gonna have a large family, that's probably the car to go for, let's be honest. There is 100% something seriously satisfying about me taking random cars to the post office. And I know it sounds really, really random, but I spend most of my days these days in an office, so it's always nice to just get out of here. Windows down. Whoa, okay. We'll, uh, we'll, put, we'll push that bit up. I need to glue that in. Right, as car spotting goes, don't see many of them in the UK, do we? Do you know what I find insane about seeing, uh, so say that's a Fox Body Mustang, it's a 1988 car, and this is a 1985 car. Now, the general consensus of the Mustang is that that is probably one of the worst body shapes, one of the worst eras, and I'm not saying it is the worst eras, but that's sort of the general consensus for the Mustang community. Interestingly enough though, it's the same generation as the Mark 1, well, S1, that I'm driving today, my S1. And you think that, you know, when this car came out, it was ahead of the game, it was insane. It was, you know, the hot hatch, right? In the UK, so the UK market. In the American market, they were producing that. What in God's name were Ford doing? I don't understand. They were creating unbelievable classics like this, like, gobsmacking performance, fantastic luxury but with Recaro seats, like it had everything. And I'm a massive American car fan, massive American car fan, but I just had the realization, again, we're full of realizations in this video, that America at that time, like an 88 Fox body that that was, they were producing that. And Ford like UK and you know here, were producing this. It just baffles my mind. What were they thinking? So yeah, I don't think many people, well, the American car people would get it, I reckon, that seeing that in traffic is actually really interesting because it does put a lot of things into perspective. 85, this is, and that was an 88. This is what Ford were creating in the same era as that Fox body, which is, in theory, one of the worst generations that ever came along. I'm not saying it is, but as an American car fan, there is obviously better versions of the Mustang. But as a start, this Escort, you know, the S1, coming out at the same sort of generation at the same time, it is night and day, literally night and day. They're not gonna be saved as much as these are. So really, really interesting. Although I'm an American car fan, pointing that out now because uh, I think the biggest problem with me actually owning this car is that I don't actually want to do anything to it. I just want to drive it. So if I'm able to take it out and drive it around a bit, every day i'm content i don't really need to do constant content of changing it yes we do want to change it and stuff but as i keep on walking past these if anybody would like my old 106 gti wheels with the tires they are for sale um just hit me up dm me instagram uh or send me an email fydapparel.com they're worse for wear good tires though could do with refurb if i'm going to sit and refurbish them then i'm going to want to keep them and i already have another set that is ready for refurb so I might as well get rid of a set because I think I've got about seven or eight sets of wheels in my possession that I don't actually need. So I'm trying to thin the herd a little bit. But yeah, if you would like these, a little bit worse for wear, could do with a refurb. Tires are very good. Hit me up. So popping up the bonnet, we're going to give this uh, engine bay a little spruce after taking it out. I'm going to clean all the. Uh, mirror bits up and stuff so general look at how it looks now i'm no cleaning guru i've said that many times in the past so yeah three two one and just like that we are back with a very clean engine bay what i've done is just cleaned it all down then gone over it with a couple of 
product. This isn't a paid promotion or anything. This is just something that I believe in more than anything. So shout out to Killer Wipers for sending down this ceramic detail. I did all the uh, metals around the front of the car and, and we did the chrome up here with just some glass cleaner from EZ Car Care. Looks so good though. You know when I said I was gonna take these off um, when they're clean and it sort of looks that good? Yeah, I might keep them on, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I'll end the video there because I'm no car cleaning guru whatsoever. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Trying to do daily content at the moment. It is a struggle, but we are getting there. A lot of things coming for the RS Turbo as well. We have a few mods, a few things to change in up and coming videos. So make sure you liked this video. Make sure you're subscribing for more content. I'll see you all on the next one.